The breed originated about two to three thousand years ago and is considered one of the oldest. The appearance of the dogs has not changed much since that time. The history of its origin is directly related to the ancient peoples who migrated from Siberia to Alaska. The dogs made the transition with the people and settled there. Interesting fact, the name of the animal comes from the Eskimo tribe that lives in the far north, Malimid. The nationality is now very small, if it exists at all, but the ancestors managed to preserve the memory of themselves thanks to the breed of dogs that has survived to this day. Scientists believe that the Eskimos developed the species for locomotion, hunting polar bears and seals. Dogs were also used to transport heavy loads on sleds. Active breeding of the breed was carried out during the gold rush when miners needed strong, hardy helpers who could survive low temperatures. Locals crossed Malamutes with other dogs, which is why purebred dogs almost disappeared. Only the Malamutes were able to preserve the breed. The indigenous people treated the creatures like family members, they looked after them, put the children to sleep with them, in order to save them from the cold. At the beginning of the 20th century, scientists began actively crossing Malamutes, during which the Kotzebue and Mlut lines were developed. The first is smaller and less aggressive than the second. Numerous blends of blood were carried out and by 1960 a single standard was approved, covering all lines. Today, it is not possible to determine the line of a particular individual. In 1935, the Alaskan Malamute Club of America was founded, where the dogs received official recognition from the American Kennel Club. During the First and Second World Wars, animals were used for military purposes. They made Arctic expeditions, and many individuals were destroyed. Alaskan Malamute. Description of the breed. These dogs are distinguished by their strong, compact build, coarse, long and dense coat. Wide head, ears are straight, wedge-shaped. Starting from the base of the nose, the muzzle is reduced. This breed is characterized by one feature, on the face there is a pattern in the form of a mask, and on the head, in the form of a hat. The tail is fluffy, slightly curled, drooping. The legs are strong, muscular, the pads are pubescent, so that the four-legged do not fall through when running under the snow. On the straight forelimbs, large bones. There are no dewclaws on wide hind legs. The flexible and elongated lower back facilitates long-distance movement. This physique provides dogs with incredible stamina. Clever expression of the muzzle. The location of the eyes is similar to that of a wolf, there is a slight furrow between them, but the look is softer, good-natured, indicating a friendly character. Approximate ratios of hide and weight for males. Hide at the withers 64 cm, weight 38 kg. For female dogs, these parameters look like this, hide at the withers 58 cm, weight 34 kg. Size cannot be assessed as the main and only indicator. It is necessary to consider the type as a whole, proportions, functional features. If the individuals are equal on these points, preference is given to those whose sizes most closely match those given. The breed standard is primarily assessed on the ability to be a working dog and to carry heavy loads. The paws must have incredible traction. Any note of unhealthy limbs is considered a gross defect. Also imperfections will include straight shoulders, clubfoot, unproductive type of movement, heaviness, overly long legs. Popular colors of Alaskan Malamutes. Dogs of these breeds can be of various colors. The most familiar to us are gray, wolf-like. However, a few basic colors can be clearly distinguished. Gray-white, black and white, red and white, sable, white. The black color is characteristic of the animal, it protects it from the strong ultraviolet radiation associated with the Arctic climate. White is always the predominant color of the lower body, limbs, feet and part of the markings on the muzzle. The standard for this breed states that the usual color ranges from light gray, intermediate shades to black, sable, red. The Alaskan Malamute does not have a correct color, lighter or darker shades are equally acceptable. The coat of these northern dogs consists of on and undercoat, thus protecting them from freezing. The on is the longer and stiffer part that protects the pet from moisture. It gives a basic idea of the color of the four-legged undercoat, soft hair under the spine. In the heat, he saves the dog from sunstroke, in winter, from frostbite. The undercoat also affects the overall color, but only both layers create the final picture. Often, Malamutes of various shades can have golden hairs or cream, brown, dark yellow-red hairs on their legs, tail or ears. As quadrupeds grow older, the coat of puppies may differ from that of adults. For example, a gray and white puppy may turn out to be beige and white. In addition, sable-colored puppies may become more brownish, reddish when they grow up. The Nature and Habits of Alaskan Malamutes These amazing animals are endowed with strength, irrepressible energy, sharp mind. An agile and good-natured dog with incredible endurance. If earlier they were bred as working dogs, now the Malamute is bred mainly as a friend. 
The creatures of this breed have achieved tremendous success in competitions and exhibitions. Residents of private houses must come to terms with the fact that their lawn, together with the garden and vegetable garden, will turn into one continuous trench. It is better to strengthen the fence too by digging deeper. The most effective way to fight is to set aside a few square meters specifically for this purpose and train the hyperactive dog to dig holes in one place. It will not be possible to completely wean the creature from sabotage and it will be very difficult to give it. At the same time, the owners deprive the pet of great pleasure. Residents of city apartments are waiting for gnawed door handles, furniture, shoes, door frames. Interesting fact, the nature of the creatures is very strong, wayward. They can listen to the owner, but not react to commands. Therefore, it is worth raising them from early childhood. Dogs need frequent training, training is not up to everyone. Therefore, inexperienced owners with an overly gentle character should not start such a breed. Even if you manage to prove yourself as a leader, the dog will still try to test you for resilience. Malamutes are very mobile, playful, they love to have fun, fool around, have fun with toys, they love to be in the spotlight. People are treated positively, even strangers. Animals are endowed with strong natural instincts, so you can often find individuals chasing squirrels or rodents in the park and sometimes trying to catch a bird. From an early age, they need to be taught to communicate with other dogs or cats so that in the future the dogs do not hunt while walking. If other dogs live in the house, there is no doubt that the Malamute will take on the duties of a leader and lead the pack. This breed is not suitable for watchdog service since by its nature they are not aggressive despite their impressive appearance. Interesting facts about Alaskan Malamutes. Due to their strength, tetrapods are able to pull a load weighing up to one and a half tons. They shed many times during the year, shedding large amounts of wool. Dogs of this breed do not have blue eyes. The color of the iris can range from brown, almost black, to light, amber. In 2010, the animals became the official symbol of Alaska. Admiral Byrd, known for his expeditions to Antarctica, used Malamute sledges for travel. In 1984, the United States Postal Service issued AKC stamps featuring four purebred dogs, including a Malamute. These brands have been used in at least 14 countries. The animal is considered a close relative of the Siberian Husky, Samoyed, Eskimo dogs of Greenland. Quadrupeds can get along with other males, but they often behave aggressively towards their fellows or show dominant behavior. These animals are very independent in nature. Therefore, all household members should raise the dog in such a way that he